Hello learners, welcome to the video. For non-profit organizations, society comes first, personal motives come next. But for profit organizations, it is just the opposite. In our previous video, we learned about the profit organization, which is built to serve the business owners. Profit organizations make the profit directly or indirectly by selling goods or services. The financial statements prepared for profit-making organizations are income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement. The course of our discussion would be structured as below. We'll first discuss meaning of not-for-profit organization, examples of not-for-profit organization. Then we'll discuss source of income of not-for-profit organization. And then we'll discuss main features of not for profit organizations finally we'll take concept checking questions to test our understanding of all the concepts discussed what is a not for profit organization what are the examples of not for profit organizations what are the main sources of income of not for profit organizations what are the main features of npo looks complex but no issues. By the end of the video, you guys will be in the position to solve the questions by yourself. Let's start our today's video, meaning and features of not-for-profit organization. Anyway, let's go ahead with the topic and first I'll clear the basic fundamental of not-for-profit organization. Can we start it now? Perfect. Thank you learners. Let's start with the basic introduction of NPO. In the past, we have learned that every business primary motive is to earn profit. But there are certain organizations which are set up for providing service to its members and the public in general. In every society, some organizations are found whose sole motive is to render services without looking for profit. I hope that you can easily understand what I am trying to tell you. Look. I'm not telling you that they do not make profit. I'm telling you that they do not intend to make profit. Organizations which are set up to provide facilities and services to its members and not intended to make profit are called non-profit organizations. Is it clear now? Taking one step ahead. Normally, these organizations do not undertake any business activity and are managed by trustees who are fully accountable to their members and the society for the utilization of the funds raised for meeting the objectives of the organization. Not-for-profit organizations refer to the organizations that are used for the welfare of the society and are set up as charitable institutions which function without any profit motive. Their main aim is to provide service to a specific group or the public at large. Normally, they do not manufacture, purchase or sell goods and may not have credit transactions. Hence, they need not maintain many books of account as the trading concerns do and trading and profit and loss account. The funds raised by such organizations are credited to capital fund or general fund. We now exactly know what an NPO is. It is an entity or an organization which intend to provide service and profit making is not their main object. Examples of non-profit organizations are clubs, society, schools, colleges, NGO, hospitals, libraries, religious institutions. Taking a leave out of the basic introduction, we can put certain characteristics of NPO. Whatever we learn in introduction, I am just summarizing it now. The characteristics of NPO are, as you can see them, service, form, entity, management, source of income, surplus, accounts. The first one to start with is service. NPOs are established for welfare and service of the society and their members such as education, 
health care, sports, entertainment, etc. The main aim of these organizations is to provide service either free of cost or at nominal rates and do not operate with the objective of earning profit. Coming to the second feature which is FOB. NPOs are set up as charitable trusts, clubs or societies. Subscribers to these organizations are called members. Moving on to third feature that is entity. Not-for-profit organizations are treated as a separate entity distinct from its members. It is not affected by admission of new members or death of an existing member. Now the fourth one, management. Not-for-profit organizations are usually managed by a managing or executive committee elected by its own members. Now we'll move on to the fifth feature that is major source of income. The main source of income of a club or society is subscriptions, monthly or yearly. Source of funds received by clubs and societies include subscriptions, money made from fundraising activities and donations. They may even run profit-making events such as selling refreshments. Such organizations do not earn profits from the sale of goods in the same way that a business does. Then, the sixth one that is surplus and deficit. Any profit that a club or a society makes is not passed on to the owner but is usually kept within the organization. Profit, excess of income over expenditure, in the case of a club or society is referred to as a surplus and a loss which is excess over expenditure over income is referred to as a deficit for example current year surplus is not distributed among its members because they are not the owners they are the subscribed members this surplus is added to capital fund so learner now we'll move on to the next feature that is accounts not-for-profit organizations also have to maintain proper accounts to meet the legal requirement and to exercise proper control over utilization of their funds. Not-for-profit organizations prepare their financial statements more or less on the lines of the profit-seeking organizations. They prepare financial statements at the end of each accounting period, you can say a financial year. NPOs prepare financial statements like receipts and payments account, income and expenditure account, and balance sheet. Let's take an example for better understanding. Let's say a few of us get together to start a sports club. Let's assume we have 50 members who want to take part in sports activities, who want to play games, etc. So learners, why has the sports club been formed? sports club was formed so that we can have different sports activities for all its members. What do the members do? Maybe the members bring some money every month called subscription. So they subscribe maybe for every month, every year, whatever is the term. If this money, let's say funds from the members would be used to buy new sports equipment to maintain the sports club etc. Suppose it so happens that there are surplus funds. This extra funds will not be distributed as profit because the very purpose of having the sports club was only to provide service, facilities of sports and games to its subscribed members. So profit is not distributed to the members because the members are not the owners, they are only the members of society who have come together for a specific purpose. So what we have learned today is meaning and features of not-for-profit organizations. A not-for-profit organization is a separate legal entity not owned by any individual or an enterprise. It is set up to render service to the society not with the aim of earning profit. Examples of NPO, clubs, society, schools, colleges, hospitals, NGO, libraries, religious institutions.
In this video, we have learnt meaning and features of not-for-profit organizations. Here is a question for you. Let's check your understanding so far. Which of the following is an example of not-for-profit organization? Religious institutions, educational trusts, hospitals, all of the above. The right answer is option D, all of the above. Explanation Clubs, hospitals, libraries, schools, religious institutions and charitable institutions are certain organizations which are formed not to earn profits but to render services to its members and to the public. Let's take another question. Expenditures excess over income of a non-profit organization give rise to a A. Loss B. Profit C. Deficit D. Surplus The right answer is option C. Deficit Explanation If total of debit side is more than the total of credit side, it is known as excess of expenditure over income. Let's go for a question to test how well you understood source of income of not-for-profit organizations. The major sources of income of not-for-profit organization is A. Financial assistance from government in the form of grant and aid B. Subscriptions C. Membership fees D. All of the above The right answer is option D. All of the above Explanation the major sources of income of not-for-profit organizations are subscriptions from their members, donations, financial assistance from government in the form of grant and aid, income from investments, etc. In our today's video, we were talking about meaning and features of not-for-profit organization. In our next video, we learn distinction between NPO and profit-earning organization. I hope you like this video. Have a great